What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with some more Zack Snyder Justice League cheese. Oh my god, I just got online and I literally googled Zack Snyder, and all the gossip, all the rumors, all the interviews are all piled up online. And I read this interesting piece that Zack Snyder not only revealed what the plan was for the future in his Snyderverse, but he also revealed that at the very end of the movie, when we see uh, the Martian Manhunter, it was actually supposed to be Hal Jordan. It was supposed to be a Green Lantern. Or no, Jon Stewart. I'm sorry. Jon Stewart. Hal Jordan yeah. is Ryan Reynolds' version. Um, and that's another Green Lantern. That's a conversation for another day. I'm just, I'm so hyped um, off of this Justice League stuff. And, you know, it pains me to read that, you know, Warner Brothers really has no intentions um, to do another Snyder uh, Justice League or anything near the Snyderverse. But Snyder is on a tour promoting the movie and he is revealing uh, what was to follow and how Warner Brothers gave him you know, certain rules and restrictions in order to get this movie out there. Uh, Warner Brothers wanted to make sure that the integrity and the legacy of the future wasn't damaged by this Zack Snyder edition. Um, and they actually consider this movie to be in an alternate universe, you know, the whole multiverse gimmick or whatever. So they consider this movie to not be canon. They're considering the other one, the Justice League by Joss Whedon, to be canon for whatever reason, even though everyone is raving about this. For the most part, it has a 97 percent uh, rating from the audience, which is the, the rating that matters most. Everyone is raving Um Critics are giving it a 74% out of 100. I'm here in a party with my boy Javi. Yo, Javi, you there? Yep, yep, yep. Now, we talked about this off stream. We both enjoyed the addition of the Martian, the, the Martian Manhunter, even though it was a little bit shoehorned in there. You could tell Snyder really wanted this to be in the movie. Um, but ultimately, finding out that it was supposed to be Jon Stewart, um, which I have a screenshot right here from uh, one of the animated series uh, that they had for Justice League. You see here Martian Manhunter and Jon Stewart side by side. Um, do you prefer it being Green Lantern coming in to talk to, to Ben Affleck there at the end, you know, Bruce Wayne? Or do you like that it was the Martian Manhunter? I think I would have I would have much preferred Green Lantern. Yeah, because of the overall grand scheme of things, I know Zack Snyder had plans. Yeah, you know, you know I I in agree. Development. I, I agree. I'm glad you said that because I, I'm gonna piggyback off of that now and add that um, the reason why that scene didn't make much sense is because Martian Manhunter was was involved in the movie he did have a cameo right in, in like in the middle of the movie when he went to go visit lewis lane but mm -hmm. green lantern coming out at the very end made much more sense because he is you know he's a peacekeeper he is a protector of, of the galaxy and and all that and you know the, the green lantern wasn't in this one at all and he was in there was a green lantern involved in one of the previous battles that we saw against dark side so um who better than you know a green lantern in this case it would have been john stewart that we know now who better than that character coming in to you know maybe warn uh bruce wayne that there's still more to come you know that he is ready to join them in the fight, in the good fight going forward. I think that would have played better into the story that we saw in this movie. It would have explained why he wasn't in it, right? Rather than having the Martian Manhunter uh, be a character that we know from Man of Steel already. And we're kind of questioning why didn't he get involved sooner? Why didn't he help uh, Kal-El in, in Man of Steel? Why did he stay hidden? Um which is basically what everyone's saying and everybody's talking about the Joker scene and how it was forced. And we talked about that in the review, but this video here, I just kind of wanted to highlight that little uh, piece of information 
where Zack Snyder admitted, you know, hey, guys, you know, I was trying to do this. Warner Brothers didn't let me. And I think that Warner Brothers just needs to let their creators create. They brought in Joss Whedon and pretty much ruined everything that we could have gotten that would have been canon at this point. But, you know, yeah. they keep like hitting the reset button because they, they keep it's, just trying to do it their way. Yes, forcing their way. Like, why would you get a guy like Zack Snyder to do what he does and then just want your way hammered in there? I don't get it. It doesn't make much sense to me, but they're getting rid of him already or they got rid of him already. But I like what Zack Snyder said because I had a little bit of hope and I mentioned this in my last couple of videos and then talking to Brian, like he pretty much hammered that hope away. He told me, hey, you know, like Warner Brothers gave him the Phil Jackson treatment. Um, regardless of how good this movie does, he's done. Uh, mm -hmm. But Zack Snyder said, hey, if they resurrected this movie as old as it is and they gave me as much money as they did to do my vision, my version, my story, then who knows what can happen in the future? Maybe we do get a follow up. But I don't know. It's just he he's on this little revealing tour. And he's revealing all the sequels and all the plans that he had set in place. And I just don't think that um, if we were going to get a sequel, he would put the whole story out there and spoil it. Would you like to see another Snyder movie in the DC Universe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. After watching this one? Yeah. Well, it depends. It depends. On it depends which route they go. Well, Brian said that he would like it only if it was part of like this multiverse, like that it didn't ruin w everything else that DC's trying to do with like Robert Pattinson and Aquaman two and Wonder Woman, right, the, the third yeah. one or whatever. So you agree yeah, with but that? But that's gonna be. I mean, well, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see how. Depending on how they do this Batman coming up. You know up. they're doing another Superman movie too and Michael B. Jordan is rumored to be the, the, the lead. No way. That's yeah. Superman? I yeah. think yeah, and I think his name would be like um it is I forgot the name. It's it's like a, a an extension of Kal El, but it's a different name. Something Ellis or something he told me. I forgot or he, he read it online uh somewhere. It's part of the comics. I didn't even know, but yeah guys, uh just wanted to report that, give my two cents on it. You know, me and Javi were talking about it now, and I said, why not? Let's record it and um, talk about Green Lantern and the Martian Manhunter, which I think they deserve their own movie, and um, I hope that we get it real, real soon. Yeah. So I'll see you on the next one. Javi, thank you for helping me out with this little video here, and we'll be no back. Doubt. We'll be back very soon. Peace out. Let's go.